In this video, we're going to take a look at the statistics functions of the Casio FX83 GTX and the same for the 85 GTX. They're pretty much the same calculator, just the 85 has a few more functions. So to get into our statistics, we press menu and then we press two. That will bring us into this menu here and we press one for one minus variable. That brings us up this table here where we can input data. If you want to turn on a frequency, what we do is we press shift, setup, we press down, then we press one and we can turn the frequency on or off. So you press one for frequency on, two for frequency off. So I want the frequency on and that gives me my two columns here, my X column and my frequency column. So next thing is you input some data. So I have some data here that I'm going to input. I'll start by just inputting the, the data here on the left. So I have three, I press equals, I have four, I press equals five equals six equals seven equals and eight equals. And what you notice is the frequency automatically comes up as one. So we can scroll using our direction arrows here and then we can input the frequency. So for three, I have one, I press equals. For four, I want three, press equals. For five, I have seven, press equals. For six, I have 15, press equals. For seven, I have six, press equals. And for eight, I have two equals. So that's my data input there. The next thing I do is very easy. I just press options and I press three, which is the one minus variable calculations. So I press three and this brings up this menu here. And you can see that now I have everything that I need here in this menu. So the first line here is X bar. That's our mean. So the mean of this data is 5.8235. The next one I have then is the sum of X. So the epsilon X is the total sum. So that's 198. So in total, all of those numbers add up to 198. Some other important ones there. The standard deviation is this one here, sigma X. That's 1.097. That's the standard deviation. That is how far on average each bit of data is from the mean. We can press down here to get some more information here. The sample standard deviation, S of X is 1.11. This is a slightly different standard deviation depending on what one you want to use. N is the total number of data points, 34. The minimum was 3. We have Q1, which is the lower quartile, that's 5. We have the median, which is 6. And we have Q3, the upper quartile, which in this case is 6. And then we have down again, we have our max, which is 8. So that's the statistics functionality of the Casio FX83 GTX and 85 GTX.